Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Drew here from Lone Fox, and today's video has been such a highly requested makeover that I do in my apartment. And it was one I honestly was just putting off. The kitchen was an area where I was like, you know, this one already looks pretty good. Like, I don't exactly know what I can do in this space. It has brand new cabinets, a brand new backsplash, brand new tile. So all around, even though I wasn't a big fan of the cabinets, backsplash, and tile, I didn't know really what I can do to this area. So it was kind of taking me quite a while. And then one day, about two weeks ago, I was like I want to start on doing the kitchen it's an area I've kind of been putting off and it's been an area that you guys have really been wanting to see and I also want to thank today's video sponsor HelloFresh so much for making this video happen I truly love HelloFresh I've actually worked with them I believe just one time in the past and I've always loved every single meal that I made from them so highly suggest them and I'll touch on them in just a little bit you guys but before that let me share with you the before of this kitchen so upon moving into this apartment the kitchen was just renovated and it had brand new cabinets put in it had new flooring put in, a new backsplash. However, the three elements just don't work very well together. The backsplash is very blue toned. The flooring is a very warm tone. The cabinets are kind of an off-white color and the walls are also a little bit of an off-white color. So I just wanted to kind of figure out a way to make everything mesh together and just look a little bit more aesthetic and streamlined. And that's what we're doing today. So I guess we could just go ahead and jump on into my process, you guys. I don't even remember what I did first in this space. Honestly, I'm filming the intro after the fact. Um, uh, because my first intro I filmed, I talked about how I didn't think much transformation was going to occur, and I had to refilm it because the transformation was crazy. So stay tuned, you guys, and let's get started. Welcome to day one of our little kitchen makeover upgrade. I am very, very excited. Today is going to be probably one of the most tedious days because we're doing a peel and stick backsplash today. Now that's gonna take up a majority of the time. And I just wanna share with you guys the current backsplash and what I don't like about it. Now I know a lot of people do like this kind of backsplash. It is your traditional renter grade glass and marble backsplash. I swear every single rental apartment has this. It's like a cool toned blue color, which I'm just not a fan of. It just kind of doesn't go with this space. So my friends over at Smart Tiles actually sent me a ton of really cool peel and stick tiles. I'm gonna share them with you guys. I'll link the ones I used below. So here are the backsplash pieces. Now, as you can see, each sheet comes like this and it has a total of six bricks on the front of it. But the great thing about these bricks is that they actually have a texture to them. So they're a little bit different. And I also love how these bricks are a lot larger. If you guys have seen me do a kitchen makeover in the past in my old apartment, it was more of like a glossy subway tile that was a lot smaller. I have a ton of sheets of this, so let's go ahead and get started. Applying your own peel and stick backsplash is so much simpler than it actually looks. The only hard part is when you get to any outlets or any small like corners or nooks and crannies that require basically a little bit more cutting to it. But I swear to you guys, you can totally do it. And the great thing about peel and stick tile as well is it's really forgiving. So if you cut too much, you can literally just add a little piece back and you're not even gonna be able to tell. It kind of just blends seamlessly. So do not worry, have fun with it. It is a very repetitive process. And I believe the entire install of this one took me probably around four hours or so in my kitchen. Yesterday, I didn't get as much done as I thought I was going to. I actually only ended up finishing the backsplash on this section of the kitchen. Now, I do still have, of course, this section over here that I need to complete, so that's kind of gonna be my first task for today, but I am starting a little bit late today. It's always an amazing day when you get a HelloFresh box because you know inside you're gonna be packed with incredible ingredients and recipes to create some amazing meals. They offer so many different recipes to choose from each week to break out of your recipe rut, including low-cal, carb-smart, vegetarian, and even pescatarian options. And you can actually go through and choose your meals each week, which I personally love. I opted for the chicken sausage bolognese, the beef and cheese tostadas, and the sweet and smoky pork tenderloin. I thought I would try a couple different options and I have all the ingredients inside of 
of here fresh. I popped them in the fridge, and when I was ready to make it for lunch, I pulled it right out to prepare my ingredients. Uh, the thing that I love about HelloFresh is that it cuts out stressful meal planning and prepping, so you can enjoy cooking and get your dinner on the table in 30 minutes or less, or even 20 minutes if you go for their quick and easy option. So super simple, and you guys, I personally am not a chef. I am not a cook either, but I do thoroughly enjoy making my HelloFresh meals. Like it's really fun just to have a smaller project. You don't have any leftover food waste, which is also nice. So you just know everything that you have, you're going to be eating and there's going to be no waste or extra food that you just honestly don't end up using. And that happens to me all the time. When I want to cook something, I go out and I purchase all the ingredients I need. I spend a decent amount of money. I come home and then I'm left over with all of these random vegetables or just extra ingredients I didn't end up using. And they just honestly go to waste. So I love how HelloFresh just pre-portions everything out for you so you know exactly what you have is exactly what you need. I just realized I haven't even touched on what I'm making here. This is the sausage cavatappi pasta, and I will tell you right now, it was stunning. It was very, very, very good. I love pasta. If I could choose it for every single meal, I probably would do so. And the great thing is that HelloFresh is super flexible. They allow you to change delivery days or food preferences and even skip a week whenever you need to. And they've also donated over 4 million meals to charity in 2020 and continuing to step up their food donations during our little coronavirus situation that we're in at the moment. And I just love all of my meals I've had with HelloFresh. So if you'd like to try them out, go to HelloFresh.com and use my code LONEFOX12 to get 12 free meals, including free shipping. Alrighty guys, so running into a little bit of an issue this morning, I went to go put up the peel and stick wallpaper on the wall here, and for some reason, only this wall in the entire apartment, not even the walls like around the rest of the kitchen, only the archway wall is textured. It has like that orange peel texture to it, which basically means the wallpaper is not sticking properly. It's kind of just peeling right off there. So it does look like I'm probably gonna have to sand this down, but I'm honestly not mad about that because all the other walls are sanded. So might as well make this one look like those, you know? Um, and then when I go to move out, of course, I'm just gonna have to put a coat of paint over this. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna go ahead, start sanding this wall down. I'm then gonna have to probably clean it and allow it to dry overnight. And then we can apply the wallpaper tomorrow when it's nice and dry and prepped and ready to go. But sadly, it looks like I'm gonna have to do a little bit of prep work on this wall, but I'm hoping that it won't be too bad. When it came to sanding down this archway, it took quite a bit of elbow grease, you guys. I'm not going to lie, this took me probably about an hour and a half to two hours. The before looked like this, and the after looked like this. Now, I know the after doesn't look like anything crazy, but it was very smooth to the touch, which is exactly what you're looking for. So I went ahead and sanded the entire archway and then wrote hello in the paint dust. And on the streets they walk, assuming all that they see. Artificial. Walls have been sanded. I also went through and wiped them all down using a mild cleaning detergent. That's what I had read online to use once you sand it down, just to get all those dust particles off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let this full wall completely dry until tomorrow, and then I'm gonna do the peel and stick tomorrow. But the first thing that I'm so excited about is changing out the handles in here. So the current handles look something like this, just your kind of generic, very, very basic handle. You can see them on the back there. I'm going to be changing them to something like this, which I just love these. I got these off of Amazon, super affordable. I think they were like $2 a piece, maybe even less than that. Um, but this is what they look like. I love them. And I'm going to be swapping out every single handle in here. They all look like this. So I ended up getting 27 of these. These are brand new cabinets. I didn't want to touch them. I didn't really want to do anything to them. So I thought just changing up the hardware to kind of go with our black details in here would be a nice touch. Dust in it. If you're heading for the coast, 
dust here, need to clean that up. Started putting the knobs on as you could see. However, the actual drawers, the ones that kind of have, um, that pull out like this, so any of the drawers such as this one over here, this one here, I need to get new screws for. So I'm gonna pick those up at Lowe's later so I can go ahead and add those handles in there. But then we are going to be working over in the breakfast nook area. Now this area, I really cannot customize too much just because this is where I film all of my YouTube videos. So I don't wanna alter the lighting by doing any form of color on the wall or you know have it reflecting in different uh, tones and such. So all I'm gonna do in here is actually paint all of the window trims black, which is the same thing I did over in the living room over there that you could see. So I'm gonna go ahead and start taping off all of the windows. We're gonna do the electrical tape hack where you kind of put the electrical tape on the crossbars. And the reason that I'm doing this is because this wall will have our black based lemon wallpaper. Then we're gonna have our black trim here. The green's gonna pop through from the trees corresponding back to the wallpaper. And I think it's just gonna be really cute. And I'm gonna do some minimal styling, maybe like a little wall art piece over there and just keep it simple. So gonna start off by painting these windows here so we can get those ready to go. I'm also gonna paint the trim of the window above the sink as well. Windows are taped up, you guys, but just a little tip that I've seen so many times that I've never tried myself, I wanted to share it with you guys here. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually go in with some white uh, wall paint. It's Chantilly Lace. That's actually not the color of the wall. However, I'm gonna be painting it right in the crease here, like a nice layer of that. That way, any paint that bleeds under the tape is going to basically be the white tone paint, which should match pretty well to the wall. If it doesn't, you're gonna have to get really close to you know see that color difference. Once the white paint is dry, we're gonna do all of the black and then when we peel it off it should reveal a really really crispy line basically make everything a lot nicer if you have a really contrasting color I think this is a really nice tip so let's see how it works When it comes to painting the window trim, I suggest using a nice quality brush, that way you get no streaks, but of course on the first coat of any color you are going to have some streaks, so I did go through and apply a full second coat to this window, um, and that really locked in the color and made it look a lot more opaque and of course streak free. So I'm going through painting all the window trims, Marie was helping me right here with it, which is so kind of her, and all around I just love the way that these windows in particular look with that black border on them. The sun is starting to set. It's about 5.30 at the moment. The wall, of course, I sanded it down. I actually did take a little corner of the wallpaper and pressed it on here, and it seemed like it was sticking good, so that's great. The window trim around this window has been painted black, and of course, these three windows have been painted black as well. The first coat never looks that great. It's very streaky, but the second coat, we're gonna fill it all out, remove the tape, and then the tape also kind of throws it off as well. Very excited to see that, and so I'll catch you guys in the morning, and we're going to work on the kitchen a little bit more. When I woke up today, I was a little bit scared. I'm not gonna lie. This was my focal point of the kitchen. I needed this wall to work and I was just kind of scared that the wallpaper wasn't going to stick, but it ended up sticking. I will say though that these walls in my apartment are just so wonky. They just do not match up. They don't align up. The edges are weird. So the wallpaper went on a little bit randomly and I'm sure a lot of you guys won't have a problem with that, but I ended up just piecing it together in the end and it looks absolutely incredible. I'll also say that this wall only took me about two hours to create create from start to finish, and it is the statement this kitchen needed. It was just kind of bland, a little bit basic and boring, and I love the pop of yellow, the depthness of the black, and I like how the green of the leaves actually kind of go back to the green of the trees that you could see out of the windows, so I just love this accent wall. Good morning, everybody. Uh, it is day three or four. Oh my gosh, look at my hands at the moment. I just put up the wallpaper, which you guys probably saw. Let me flip around and share it with you guys. Here is the brand new wallpapered archway. I really wanted to add something statement in this kitchen. Marie is over there applying a second coat of paint to the window trims. And I really love how the black window trims tie back to the dark wallpaper. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and add the little crossbars in there. I'm also going to go through and apply a coat of black paint to the underside of this arch because when we move out, we're gonna have to 
paint the sanded wall anyway, so we can just go ahead and paint the underside of the arch as well, but I think it's just going to make it look more defined and um, just a little bit nicer, kind of more cohesive. For the underside of the archway, I use the same exact black paint that I used on the window trim, and the reason that I am painting this is because the white underside really gets lost in the white walls in the background, so I wanted the archway to be super defined so you can just see all of the edges, and the lemons also kind of mask that a little bit, so adding this black paint was key, and then of course once I do leave, I can go ahead and paint this as well with the matching color of the sanded wall that we did. The windows have been fully coated with two coats of paint. I went in with a fine brush and just tuned everything, made sure it looked really nice. And now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the tape. But if you guys remember, I did that tape trick. So I wanna see with you guys first experience if that does create a more clean line when I pull it off. So let's take a look. Um, that looks crispy to me, you guys. So some wall paint is coming off with it, which is not my favorite, but I mean, I guess it's not too noticeable. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. The tape is finally off of the windows, the wallpaper is up, the archway has been painted, and how? Amazing does this look so far? It's crazy what it looks like once you actually tape the tape off And what was really nice as well is I had this color from that Ikea dresser hack that I redid This is white dove by Benjamin Moore and it just happened to match the walls perfectly in here So I was able to touch up anything um, over there made sure that this line was all nice and clean as well This window is finished off above the window There is this little blank space here and I thought it would be so cute to add a light kind of like this one This is a gooseneck sconce and I got this one on Amazon and it is pretty large but I do think that it will still look super cute above the window now this is actually not going to be a functional light you could totally add a puck light underneath if you want to but I want to add an actual Edison bulb so it looks like a real light but like when would you ever turn this on like doing dishes at 1 a.m. need this additional light like sorry I'm just gonna turn on this one it's just gonna be more for aesthetics and appearance um, and that way I don't have to hardwire anything into the wall it's just gonna be two screws hung up there kind of as a wall art piece but it's essentially a light and I think it's going to add a nice touch. So on the living room windows, I used electrical tape, which I saw this hack, I believe, on TikTok, where you take the electrical tape, and this is super affordable, it's literally a dollar, and you can put it over your little windows, like uh, crossbar sections like this, and it just makes it instantly look like the metal's black, which I love. It matches the window framing that we did, and this area of the window is all metal, whereas everything else I painted is wood um, and is allowed to, you know, meant to be painted. So I'm just going to cover these sections with the black electrical tape, and I think it's just going to make the windows look a lot cleaner and nicer. I just want to point out how incredible the black electrical tape bars look as opposed to just leaving them white like this and such an easy renter friendly hack you can just pull them off when you leave and you're good to go i'm gonna start working on this window over here hi hello guys it is the last and final day of our kitchen mini makeover. Um, it actually kind of turned into a little bit more of a mini make or more of a makeover. I feel like I started off this video talking about how I didn't have much to do, but the changes I made are honestly super impactful so far, which I'm very excited about. I ended up actually going shopping last night and I forgot my camera. I was going to go today. I just got a couple of accessories. I thought I would share them with you guys before jumping into the styling portion because all we have left in here is styling and then the final reveal. So I'm 
was gonna share with you guys a couple of things I got. I went to World Market and Target last night, and at World Market, I got these super cute little canisters. These were affordable too, $12.6.99, so I thought that was a great deal. I also ended up getting a glass canister from World Market. This was $12.99, um, and put some oatmeal in there. Then I got this, also from World Market, an oil dispenser. I've always wanted one of these. Um, we've always just used like the traditional, you know, bottle that the oil comes in, but we got one of these to put next to the stove, which I think is really cute. It has a gold top on it. I think these are from World Market. I don't remember. Let me see. Yep, these are. It's just a set of wooden um, utensils, just styling purposes, you know, and of course we can use them as well. And last but not least are just two items I picked up at Target, which I ended up getting this cutting board here. I just thought it was cute. I liked the color of it and I wanted to add a bit more warmth to the space. And I really only had two square cutting boards. So I wanted one with some shape to it and this little brass bronze vessel, which I love. I use this in my grandpa's makeover and it's just such a cute, like perfect little shape. It's the Studio McGee line. So those are the pieces that I ended up getting. All that is left to do is style it. And I'm so excited to see the final outcome of this kitchen, you guys. It has been such a fun makeover um, and I've been working on it for like the past week or so. So I'm really excited to have it kind of come to an end and see the full vision come to life. So let's get to styling. Alright you guys, the kitchen is complete and I am ready to share with you the reveal of it. Luckily it's a little bit dark back there so you can't really see everything, but I'm going to show it to you all in three, two, one. video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this transformation. It was a super fun one and I love how it just pulled together at the end. The thing about the kitchen is that I love a bold kitchen. I love when there's like bold cabinetry or a statement tile or just something that adds a bold touch to a kitchen space and I knew I couldn't do anything with the cabinets and I knew I couldn't do anything with the flooring so I figured let's go ahead and add a fun wallpaper to this archway here and I think that it did exactly what I needed it to and it also only cost around $70 for all the wallpaper that I used in this space, which I think is a pretty decent price. Um, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that it gave you some ideas for your renter friendly space. Now, of course, I know not everyone's going to go ahead and paint their window trim, but when I do move out, I'm going to go ahead and paint it back the way that it was when I moved in, pull off the electrical tape, remove everything, paint it back. You guys have seen me make over or unmake over my apartment in the past. And I would love to know your guys' favorite part of today's makeover. Make sure to leave a big thumbs up as it really helps out my channel and subscribe for a brand new videos every single week on home decor and DIY and also do not forget to check out HelloFresh. You can go to HelloFresh.com which is linked below and use my code LONEFOX12 to get 12 free meals plus free shipping which is amazing. But I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my kitchen. Honestly probably gonna cook another HelloFresh meal because I'm already hungry again and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!